Thanks, Lars. And uh, yeah, this uh, webinar will focus on uh, balance, emotion regulation, and the sense of self in trauma. And I think it really takes us to the foundations of how we process sensory information from the environment, but also sensory information from inside our bodies. And we know that when we've been traumatized, you know, those sensory inputs are very much disrupted. And the uh, balance system or the vestibular system plays a central role in processing these signals. So we know the balance system is important in helping us have a center of gravity, you know, feeling secure in this world, feeling secure and moving through the world. But we also know that when we've been traumatized, often we don't move through this world in a safe and balanced fashion. Our clients are often uh, clumsy. They don't know where their body is in space because they're often very disconnected from their bodies. And so that sense of balance is very much affected. And I think that really also affects how you relate with the world and how you relate to others. And what's so important about that balance or the vestibular system is that it processes uh, sensory stimuli from the internal environment, so from within our bodies, as well as from the environment. So it processes uh, what we feel and it processes what uh, the external world is like and what sensory input is coming from the external world. And it's really foundational in that because it connects to those brain areas that help us process the internal and the external world. And both of those signals are then transported further to the front part of the brain, the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, where they're all integrated. And this part of the brain is essential in helping us have a sense of time, a sense of now. It helps us to communicate with others. It helps us to feel connected. And it helps us to know what other people feel, what their intentions are. And so it really helps us be one with the world. And I think that's so much affected in trauma as well. 